Well friends, if you've ever wanted to watch a video with me hopping around to a bunch of different thrift stores and getting lots of great deals such as a toy ship for two dollars and if you want an update on what in the world is happening with that rock that has embedded itself down in my right kidney then this is the video for you you're getting all the things thank you to hellofresh for sponsoring today's video go to hellofresh.com and use code lftable14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping that's hellofresh.com and code lftable14 Hello friends. The sun is so bright. It just seems so bright to me right now. We're going into thrift stores. We are going into one of my favorite thrift stores. I have I was not able to get to for my last thrift store haul video. I'm going in by myself. Travis is here. He just drove me around like a good chauffeur to appointments and he has Tobin. I'm mama's going by herself to a thrift store. What what's going to happen here? Let's see. And if this goes well, always try to do something extra. There's another new thrift store I want to go see. Okay, let's go. Okay, we've got, we've got pictures here. And then fabulous finds, 50 cents and under. Oh my goodness. It's got like, oh, I thought it was a little pocket holder. Kids would love that. Water bottles. You know me and water bottles. Oh, 75 cents. Don't mind if I do. Virginia Beach, 25 cents. That's appropriate. The mustache is going to be very popular. We'll probably be broken pretty quickly, but for a quarter, okay. We got 50 cent books. T shirts for 35 cents. So lots of fun at that last thrift store and now this is a brand new thrift store location. sun so it wasn't a total waste going in there let me just start with that I did come out with some things but I think because they are a new location they just they just don't know who they are yet with their pricing water bottles were three and four dollars a piece the same water bottles I paid 50 cents for down the road so they'll have to see how those water bottle sales go okay okay also other things like kids toys you know four dollars for one little car where at the other thrift store, I paid two bucks for this magnificent thing that is going to be like hours and hours of summer fun. So again, they'll, they'll get it. I did get some beautiful stuff there. I'll show you that when we get home. Okay, in another thrift store now.
have my table full of stuff goodies, fun things from those three thrift stores that I visited. It's a tale of three thrift stores. So the first one, I got a lot of fantastic priced stuff. The second one, I got a few special things. The prices were not so fantastic on a lot of things, which is why I just got a few, but I'm happy with the few things that I found. And then the third one, again, hmm, the, nothing beat the prices from the first one, but I still found a few select things at the third one. So let's jump in and see all that I got. And now here is my full table, but I've got, I've got things out of order. So down here, the very first thrift store. This is how I know some of the prices. I'm like, ah, uh, uh, okay, first one wins. So we got, I got a bunch of 50 cent. All of these water bottles were 50 cents. This little mustache cup, 25 cents already. This is like all the rage here. The kids walk by and look at what I'm gonna film before I film it. So they're outside with grandmother right now. Uh, Virginia Beach cup, 25 cents. And I told Amelia, I'm like, look, we didn't have to pay $7 for it. Lots of JMU is one of our universities in the area. So another 50 cent one. I think it's a home care, home instead senior care, but that's okay. It'll hold water just fine. What does this one even have on it? Okay, that's got a spaceship on it. So I was really happy with, you know, just more cups and water bottles, yay. And then at the thrift store, I've gotta go over to this pirate ship. So when I saw this pirate ship, I was like, Daniel. Okay, it is a Fisher Price. It says Fisher Price, I'm pretty sure on here somewhere. Um, there it is, yeah. So it's a nice, sturdy plastic. It does all kinds of cute things like these. Um, look, look at that. Yes, the sails go up and down. If I can do it with one hand, I was gonna say, I did it this morning. When I wasn't holding my camera, it's got a little anchor that goes, see it comes out, and then they can he can spin it back in. Probably these were where little feet went with his with the figures that probably originally came with it, but he's he's got his own stuff and man, he's been making plans. It's got these open, and then, because I let him see it already, he was showing me how it worked. There you go, they can go underneath. Two dollars, two whole dollars for this. And uh, he is super excited. He's like, can you please film it so I can have it? <laughs> uh, so that was for Daniel. And then of course, you know, uh, Benjamin Brother, almost four, he would have loved to have had a pirate ship as well. So I had to be on the lookout for some special things for Benjamin to kind of equal it out, right? So I found this nice bag of Deplo blocks and it's got several of the blocks that have the eyes. And this whole bag, $3.50. I mean, just, it's gonna be hours of fun. Love it, love it. And I picked up this little dress up mask for Benjamin, uh, again for 50 cents. Then, I got this strawberry quilted picture. Uh, it's not really quilted, I mean, it's glued on there, but has that fabric. But it is fabric for $1.50 for Amelia. Then for Amelia, look at this, Laura Ashley bag. We don't care about name brands unless we get them for free or almost free at the thrift store. So Laura Ashley bag, thought it was beautiful with the flowers. I got it for $3. And then this was fun because original tags were on it. So let's see here. Yep, Laura Ashley bag. Uh, retail suggested 42, wherever it was before 29, then marked down to 14.99. All fine with me, all Greek to me. We got it for $3. And like I said, brand new. She's gonna carry art supplies and toys and all kinds of fun things in here. Maybe a kitten or two. Good $3 fun. Then for Miss Naomi, this bag is beautiful. It's a Barnes and Noble brand bag. It was also $3. It's slightly worn, but it is very beautiful. I know she'll get lots of great use out of it. And now this purse is from the third thrift store, so I gotta keep my story straight. So I'm gonna hop over here. So everything at the first thrift store that I got, the pirate ship, the blocks, the mask, the cups and water bottles, the two purses, in the picture, let's see here. Oh, I did get a few books there. I'm looking here. They had a green tag, yellow tag. Okay, so for that bag, I actually only paid $1.50 for Amelia's bag. And then uh, for some of these books, I only paid 47 cents. 
Anyway, you get the idea. I was getting deals I didn't even know I was getting. So $15.11 total, and then it was $15.91 total after all that. So the book's there. Let me try to remember. I think I got all three there, actually. I got this Bible for Benjamin. I got this book because it had a poetry award. It's called The Great Frog Race. It has all kinds of animal poems and farm life. You know, there's one about a dragonfly, one about a metal bucket, how appropriate, a garden hose. Um, just look, rent a horse. Looked like, oh, Pollywogs. Looked like a great book on poetry. And then, I've never read Fried Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. I've sure seen the movie. Yes, I have. So, I thought, oh, 50 cents. Maybe I got it for a quarter. Uh, this, I, I will enjoy reading this. So, I got that for, for myself. What do you do with your time, Jane Morrell? Well, sometimes I'm able to do some reading. This book I'll get back to. That was from another thrift store. Okay, so then the other, the second thrift store where I had t I had total sticker shock because again, their water bottles and cups, I mean, they were three and four dollars. I, I was cringing at some of that. Many of the things I felt like were overpriced, but it was a new location. And once I picked through, I, I certainly left with some things. So this mirror was six dollars. It's stained glass. And I just figured, I don't know where I'm going to put it exactly, but you know I have the blue and the gray. Hello, vlogging Jay Morrell, and the tans on the walls. So I thought even if it goes in my hallway somewhere, um, you know, or it might go in my upcoming basement pile. I just thought it would look nice in here. Oh, and then you can see, yeah, go along with other stained glass pieces. Uh, so I'm happy with that for $6. This afghan is the yellow that I love. It was $2.99. It is a nice twin size blanket, and I probably will put it over here on this couch for fun. So happy with my yellow afghan. Then back to the get Benjamin some more fun stuff to play with outside so he uh, isn't too isn't looking too closely at Daniel's awesome pirate ship so I got him this bag you know it's all about the dinosaurs so this has two dinosaurs in it and then it has another chase car now again three dollars wasn't too bad three dollars of happiness and uh, yeah gonna have lots of fun with his water table with those and then this is a 12 months Carter's sleeper, again for my Tobin pile, $2.99, but this was, the red tags were 50% off, so I paid, you know, $1.49 for that. Then I got the Danielle Walker's book, Against All Grain. I felt like I had ordered that a while ago, but then again, I wasn't sure if I ever did. I know it's a classic and I've met Danielle before, so I got that for $2.99, a lot more on Amazon. And then for Liam, so as kids get older, you know, they may not be impressed with pirate ships and dinosaurs, right? I got Liam this, and it this was a more pricier item. I know at the first thrift store, if my head would have been in the game then, I could have probably got this for you know, or something close for half the price or less. But anyway, wildlife fact file, all just all kinds of different animals and information about them. He likes to draw animals and read about animals. And this has a nice variety. And my kids are not like free on the internet to search and do internet things all the time. Uh, yeah. So here you go, kid. Internet in a book, right? All right, and so the total for this stuff, it was under $20. The second thrift store, I cannot find that receipt, but again, under 20 bucks. And then the third thrift store, so for Amelia, I got this Stuffies toy. Uh, the mouth opens up and they stuff stuff in it. <laughs> it's got a pocket in the back, and then each of the feet, you can stuff stuff in it. And this was, I think, yeah, I was gonna say $1.99, and it was. Then I got that Union Bay purse there, and we can look, we'll look at the receipt here. Okay, it might have been $4.99. They have one. Okay, yeah, so Gabriel's shirt looks like I got a dollar, 99 cents off of that. I think it's here under custom accessories, $4.99. Amelia's for $1.99. Anyway, I liked this purse. Naomi already saw it and said, oh, I like that bag. And I said, well, good, it can go in our collection. So there you go. On days when we're pretending like we carry small purses, right? So now for Gabriel, he carries a wallet. He has a black one. 
and he likes to have a zipper in it for change. And so I was like, hey, here's a brown one. And it has the zipper, that was $2. And then I got him, um, this is a children's place shirt, but it's the large size. I mean, he's like, oh, we did his height the other day. I wanna say he was 5'9 or 5'10. He just turned 12, he's taller than I am. He likes these button dress shirts. And so with his um, with his nice man frame in development, I thought that this that this would just look nice on him. Yeah, dollar ninety nine ninety nine cents off. Then I got this Benjamin and Bumper to the rescue. Looked like it would be a great addition to our bedtime story stack. And I think at some point in here they're they're saving the mommy and they're they're just having all kinds of adventures look at that kitty oh yeah look look it looks like mommy mouse is in the cage with a bad kitty i can just see this being all the rage oh look they're cooking oh no mommy mouse so look like another good book for our collection okay friends we are cooking up some super delicious hello fresh this salad is amazing. I loved the grapes and the walnuts. The kids gobbled down this bread. <laughs> it, it, was, it was all a great big hit. And of course, the chicken was amazing. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code LFTABLE14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. HelloFresh's selection of tasty extras is getting bigger and better every week. Featuring quick breakfast and lunches, additional proteins, savory sides, and drool-worthy desserts. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items each week, including ready-to-eat salads, sandwiches, and soups. Easily change your delivery days or food preferences, or skip a week whenever you need. Thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code LFTABLE14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. Watch carefully to avoid burning. It's okay, no one will complain, we'll still eat it. So, excuse me while I drink a bunch. Mm -hmm. I wanted to give you all a kidney update because I've shared so much about Miss Pearl, this kidney stone I'm apparently growing. And I've got all kinds of questions on the last video I did about it. <clears throat> and so I thought it would probably be best if I could get you an update out quicker. So, since my last video, and if you haven't seen that, just look in the description below and I'm gonna be a good person and put that link there for you. If not, just go back a couple videos, okay? Okay, okay. Since I last shared, I was gonna go back in, get that procedure done, 
just fast, quick, and in a hurry. Let's just tackle this head on. Since the CT scan did show Miss Pearl way down yonder growing in my kidney. Um, little adventure since then. Why haven't I had the procedure? That's what I feel like. Why haven't I had this taken care of? I am trying. Oh yes, I am. Advocate for yourself. Yes, okay. So, oh, it's like calming thoughts, okay. So I made the follow-up appointment where I just had to have an x-ray before and then we were gonna schedule the procedure and go on from there. Did that, okay, that was actually today's Tuesday, that was Thursday. Went in, had my x-ray upstairs at the hospital, then went back in urology for my appointment and they could not see what they needed to see on the x-ray. It, it did not go well. They could not, I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm not an x-ray technician, but she showed it to me and it was very difficult to see my right kidney. She said, this is where this is important. They need to see the kidney stone on the right kidney in an x-ray in particular, not the CT scan, because that is the image that they use whenever they do whenever they do the lithroscopy or the shockwave treatment as I call it, right? So, and the fact that they couldn't see it in that x-ray meant we needed to do the x-rays again. I offered, do you want me to go back up now and we'll, they can reshoot it and we'll try to get it? And they said, no, I would need to wait at least a day before I went back, yay, <laughs> to have the x-ray done. So that was Thursday for some reason. I be, I be like, I'm trying to see my calendar in my head. I couldn't come Friday, so I went back Monday, which was yesterday. And again, like the Twilight Zone, we're doing it all again. So I go back upstairs for the x-ray again. The x-ray technicians got a warning because I had just had x-rays a few days before and so I explained to them the situation and how I need this x-ray to have my procedure done. So I'm back down in the waiting room in urology waiting for my appointment and x-ray calls me again. They call the desk there, they say, Miss Stewart, they'd like you back up at x-ray. I go up, the pictures didn't turn out well the second time, so they do it a third time and I'm like, Okay, well at least these x-ray technicians are thorough. They know I have to get this picture. They know they have to clearly see my right kidney. Okay, so back downstairs. Go back with uh, the urologist. And even the third x-ray did not clearly show them what they need to see. Now, in some cases, uh, some of my friends who I have shared this story with, and sorry, that's a, a baby, baby spit is drying from, from cleaning it with water on my shirt. Uh, at first, like one of my friends was like, oh, well, praise God, you know, it's healed or it dissolved or whatever, but it doesn't necessarily mean that. Uh, what it does most likely mean, how it was explained to me, is that this stone is just wedged way down at an odd angle down in my kidney. And so they drew a picture for me and they, uh, they were explaining that they would need to do the lithroscopy and then at the same time they would put a stent in, they would inject dye and then they would, ba so basically like the lithroscopy and the surgery procedure all at the same time, then they would go in because the stone is down so far and will be difficult to pass even a thousand broken up pieces because it's down so far, again, this is me re-explaining it to you, so uh, okay, okay, right? I wish I would've taken a picture of the scribbled picture that they showed me. Uh, but then they would go in and get all the pieces out during the procedure. Okay, fine, sounds fantastic. When can we do it? Uh-huh. So then they're telling me, well, now we're gonna get a 24-hour urine, okay? So they explain that process to me. That's actually what I'm, what I'm collecting all day today. That's today's science. <laughs> so I go up to the lab, I get the equipment, I get the bottles, and so right now, so again, I say, it's like hurry up and wait. So I can't have any more x-rays, apparently. Uh, I've had the CT scan that shows it. Um, now we're gonna get a 24-hour urine part of getting the 24-hour urine is to rule out it being a uric acid stone. So, so friends, in all of this, uh, there are many different types of kidney stones. 
different stones can be treated in different ways. Also, they have sent my original CT scan back to the radiologist and they are doing a hound's tooth reading to also try to determine what type of stone this would be. Okay, okay. I'm doing the urine collection. How many times can I say urine in one video? I will be turning that in tomorrow once I'm done with this project. That will be analyzed. The urologist told me they're not available all next week so I could wait until the following week uh -huh, uh huh. So two weeks, because I saw them on Monday. So my next and my next appointment, two weeks out, was like the following Tuesday, um, and we'll go from there. And I got to thinking later that day, because this is a lot of little like things to process. I'm trying to get this done. <laughs> Let me tell you, friends on YouTube, Jim Morell is trying to get this done, and I'm sure there's a urologist out there who can handle a kidney stone. Okay, so I called back and I got an appointment with another urologist at the same practice middle of next week, shaving a week off that wait time. Because again, I'm like, why am I doing all this and then waiting two weeks? I'm done, 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 done. So <laughs> when I go back next week, because remember, remember from my other video, I was like taking the bull by the horns and just going in and getting this done, right? Um, so, and we'll go in next week. And now at this point, I'm basically, uh, I'm going to judge the rest of my treatment at this practice based on how this next appointment goes. At that point, I would have had a CT scan. I would have had three different sets of x-rays. I would have done a 24-hour urine test. So next week when I go in, we should be scheduling something, right? That's what I'm thinking. If we're not scheduling anything, I'm gonna go over the mountain to another university in our general area, and I'm gonna seek a second opinion there and hopefully find a urology practice that can take care of a kidney stone. I really appreciate all the comments and all the chatter and all the, the opinions and the thoughts and you know good information that you all left me in that last video and the comments there. I've heard a lot of great stories, stories where you're wise to probably prep for a week off and stories where it was only 24 hours turned around and I was you know out digging in my garden or whatever the next day. I like hearing all the, the, I like hearing all the different stories. I also have received a lot of questions about kidney stones and a lot of different remedies and things I should do or shouldn't do to get rid of or prevent future kidney stones. From my understanding, because we don't know what kind of stone it is, there's really, there's no course of action yet I can take because we don't know what stone it is and stones form for different reasons. And mine could have been a total fluke that formed during pregnancy. Lots of different things go on in pregnancy. I was on high dose vitamin C during pregnancy and one of you said that you, got ki you, that you developed kidney stones when you were on high dose vitamin C. I think several of you said that actually. Uh, people have said to limit meat, limit coffee. It just depends on what grew this thing. We will not know that until after I get it out of my right kidney and then it can be sent for testing. I'm gonna find a urology clinic that does that and then we will know a course of action from there. I have never had them before. No one close in my family has had them. I don't, I haven't grown a bunch of them in the past. So I'm just hoping it's just a weird thing. And when we get it out, it continues to stay away. It may not, but that's okay. <laughs> and then lastly, again, I have talked about E. coli and urinary tract infections and kidney infections and my kidney stone. So again, I'm answering these questions, okay? This may not be your topic of choice, but for those who have been chatting with me about it, the E. coli that I'm dealing with is not from drinking water and it is not from food contamination. I've had a lot of questions about that. Yes, we've had our well tested. We have that done anyway. There is not high calcium in our water. There is not E. coli in our water. The food, the food is also not contaminated. The E. coli that I am dealing with is in the urinary tract. One of the questions I got, someone said, you're positive for E. coli and you're still breastfeeding your baby. So to, to answer that one, to uh, stick a pin in that comment and answer it real quick. It's in the urinary tract. 
it does not affect my breastfeeding or my baby. And many times when women do have various infections in other parts of their body, their bodies are so amazing that their breast milk make antibodies to keep the baby safe as well. But to answer that question, it is perfectly safe for me to continue to breastfeed. Now, lots of people have asked, because I just kind of mention E. coli and UTI, and then I talk about a kidney infection and I talk about the stone, I've gotten a bunch of questions wanting to know what does E. coli have to do with your kidney stone, Jay Murrell? Well, we don't understand how this goes together. Well, since I have a kidney stone, that can cause blockages within the flow within the kidney. Bacteria can build up and infections can be caused. And at the time when I got very sick and ended up in the hospital when I was in my third trimester of pregnancy, the stone with the weight of the baby and all the fluid could have been in a different position and that was causing even more bacteria to build up at that time, which is why I was still having off the charts E. coli counts whenever they tested my urine. Again, yay, you're in conversations with Jay Morrell, ha ha. Uh, which is also why now at different times I still test high in those cultured tests because there's still a stone in there. It's still probably blocking stuff. There's a lot going on. I need to get that sucker out. Oh, and so follow with me, friend. When I was talking about when they were saying they were going to go in and basically do the surgery too, she was explaining to me that because the stone is so big and it's down at an odd angle, it has most likely made a pocket and it's really comfortable where it is. And so that's part of why they were just gonna go in to work on getting the pieces out. Thank you for letting me add that in. So just wanted to also mention, this is not E. coli contamination that I have received from drinking water or from food or from hand washing or lack thereof. This is a different process going on in my body with the stone, with the buildup, with it all, which is why I am drinking a gallon or more a day. Um, I am still doing the a adding apple cider vinegar to my drinks and, al and alternating that with lemon juice. But because of the kind of stone, the urologist said that may not affect this kind of stone at all. So I hope that helps. I feel like we need to review. So that's me reviewing where we currently are in this process. I'm going back next Wednesday and I figure if they cannot get me on the schedule and let's take care of this, I will go to another clinic and then that clinic is going to have all these, all these other homework assignments I've done, the CTs, the, the CT scan, the x-rays, the 24-hour collection, they're gonna have all of this. Let's see if they can get something done quick. And I really appreciate one of the comments, uh, one of you said, thank you. This is the comment that I really appreciated. Amanda left it on my health update video. She gave a lot of good information, but this made me feel heard. <laughs> How was that? She says, with an asterisk, so that means, you know, pay attention, right? Problem does not equal pain. You only feel the pain if it's moving through. She said, so with a 10 millimeter stone, the reason you feel pressure and not pain is because it can't move from your kidney. Zero to three millimeter, anyone can pass with little problem. Four to six, might need help, it depends. Seven to 10, you have to have help getting it out. This is the part I love with an asterisk. So I was like, yes, I feel heard. She says, problem does not equal pain. You will only feel pain if it's moving through. I just appreciated that. And again, I could read hundreds, maybe even thousands of very helpful comments. And even when I went for my CT scan and every time I go in, they're basing my treatment and how quick we're getting this going on the fact that I'm not in pain. They're judging my pain level, which I know I used to work as a nurse. They also take into consideration the patient's pain level. If I was in excruciating pain, I'd be in the ER. I would get care like that. We'd be through this. The fact that they ask me, oh, are you in pain? And I say, I'm not right now, but it doesn't mean I don't have pain. And sometimes I just kind of get a blank stare. Like, well, how can you have a 10 millimeter stir and have no pain? I'm like, my answer has been, I don't know, but I know it's there let's get me care. There you go. I can write a little poem. Uh, so I just liked the way that Amanda worded it, that the problem doesn't equal pain. I'm not walking around in excruciating pain, but this is a problem. If it is 
making a nice little home in my kidney, there's a lot of things that can come from that. Let's get it out. And of course, if I was in pain, folks would be moving fast. And folks who are in extreme pain need to get the care first. I totally get that. I just realized that by my appointment next week, I'm like, I believe about seven weeks in, I can't believe it's been that long, but it has, of uh, ever since I decided to go to a urologist and uh, just get this, get this taken care of. And I'm thinking, uh, we need to move on this. So probably said too much about that. Thank you for listening. I also realized that so many people have much larger health issues going on. So thank you for listening to me and praying for me about this rock in my kidney. Definitely uh, be a lot worse. Since so many of you like to follow along on some of my mama adventures, uh, here we are with this adventure. And also I hope it encourages you that if you are receiving care and if you feel like you're not being heard or it's just taking its sweet time, that in some instances uh, it's fine to find someone else who can help you. I know, can of worms in the healthcare topics. But anyway, thanks for listening and they're either gonna get this taken care of or mama's gonna find someone who can. Yay for advocating for yourself. So thank you so much for watching. I will talk with you in those comments below. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code LFTABLE14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com, LFTABLE14, and 14 free meals plus shipping. Yay.